It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Hudson High School Night of Excellence of 2020. Tonight is one of the most important events on the school calendar because it is an occasion where we publicly recognize our students' success. We acknowledge this through awards for students' performance, academic achievement, citizenship, student potential, a commitment to excellence, and student leadership. Here at Hudson High School, we strive to provide an environment where every student can reach their highest potential. This is a significant time for our students as they celebrate a year of achievement, a time for them to take pride in their efforts to be the best that they can be and to reflect on the contribution that they make as a member of the much loved, much respected institution of learning. I know that this is not how we plan to end this year and that we are all feeling a sense of loss. But I hope that you all know that your hard work did not go unnoticed and that the staff of Hudson High School could not be more proud of each and every one of you. We will begin with the branches from our great American military presented by Major Timothy Root. Hi, my name is Major Root. I'm the JRTC instructor. It gives me great pleasure to recognize eight COBRA students that have made a commitment to serve their country through the United States military. These eight people have decided to enlist. Enlisting in the Navy is Brandon Carlson. Enlisting in the Marine Corps is William Morris. Enlisted in the United States Army are Sierra Ottinger, Sabrina Whitehead, Richard Meyer, Bryant Cruz, Brandon Main, and Cody Lewis. We would also like to congratulate any students who are planning on joining the armed forces in the near future. Every year, the Marine Corps takes pride in recognizing outstanding performances in academics, athletics, and music. All three fields exemplify the qualities that are inherent to the Marine Corps, smart, tough, and elite. Congratulations to this year's recipients. One of the core principles of Withlacoochee River Electric Cooperative is education in the communities we serve. Since 1997, we have awarded a total of 2,084 scholarships that represent a potential value of $14.5 million. This year, Withlacoochee Electric awarded 57 scholarships in Pasco County that are valued at a total of $627,000. Each scholarship recipient will be awarded $11,000 at $1,375 per semester over the next four years. Today, for Hudson High School, we are awarding 11 scholarships. The recipients are Mackenzie White, Kavina Trapp, Luis Ortiz, Pamela Wakovich, Carlos Acosta, Madison Skillen, Alejandro Bisbal, Caitlin Stewart, Lauren Steele, Christian Escala, and Mackenzie Hatke. Congratulations, and we wish these students all the best in their future endeavors. Hi. Each year, the Pasco Education Foundation assists graduating seniors in Pasco County's public schools further their education at college, universities, and technical schools by offering scholarship opportunities. The foundation is proud to provide scholarships to deserving seniors and provide the financial means to the greatest gift on earth, education. 
This year, the Pesco Education Foundation will give out scholarships valued at nearly $220,000 to high school seniors. This would not be possible without the generous support of our scholarship donors, and we thank them for their generous contributions to help students fulfill their educational endeavors. More than 120 students from across the county have been selected as scholarship recipients. They were chosen because they demonstrated in their application their desire to continue their education and work hard to honor those who have invested in their future. On behalf of the Pasco Education Foundation Board of Directors, we wish each of you scholarship recipients all the best in your college, career, and life. We applaud all the scholarship recipients for your hard work and many, many achievements. Congratulations and all the best. The Anne Frank Humanitarian Award, established in 2001, honors outstanding humanitarian efforts by high school juniors in public and private schools in Pinellas, Pasco, Hillsboro, Sarasota, and Manatee counties. Principals and guidance counselors recommend students for this prestigious award who have made a conscious decision to better the lives of other individuals or groups, both inside and outside of school activities. This year's recipient of the Anne Frank Humanitarian Award is Kayla Bryant. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Roseanne Heiser, Executive Director of Take Stock and Children, PASCO. Take Stock and Children began as part of the PASCO Education Foundation in 1997 with 24 recipients in the first graduating class of 2002. 23 years later, we have close to 1,000 scholars as part of this great organization that provides scholarships, mentors, and hope to our deserving students in Pasco County. Take Stock and Children Pasco scholars are part of a far bigger group statewide, numbering close to 34,000 across 67 counties within the state of Florida with a strong presence in every one of Florida State's colleges and universities. Today, we celebrate our 27 Take Stock and Children Scholars Class of 2020. These scholars, most selected in the eighth grade, worked hard to get this reward, staying on track with their evaluation checklists, meeting with their mentors and coaches, attending college and career readiness workshops, many sponsored by Suncoast Credit Union, and more. This scholarship has to be earned, and our scholars know what that means. The values of their scholarships range, range from a minimum of 60 credit hours all the way to 120 credit hours at a state college or university. I'd like to thank the following donors for their generosity in providing this class of 2020 their scholarships. Chair Scholars Foundation, CPPI, Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce, Michael and Tina Avedikian, the Rotary Club of Holiday, Tampa Bay Rays Helios Foundations, Wells Fargo, and Workforce. A very special acknowledgement goes to our Take Stock and Children mentors. These are true heroes in our community who help shape and mold these scholars through the years into fine young men and women, providing them the needed resources to guide them to this point in their, in their time, graduation, and beyond. Soon, we will be holding our own Take Stock and Children Awards ceremony, so for those who are in the Take Stock Nation, stay tuned. In the meantime, my congratulations to all of the award winners and what stories you will share as the graduating class of 2020. Hi. I am Karen Armstrong, representing PEO Chapter HO in Hudson. PEO is a women's organization that promotes education for young women and for women wanting to further their education. We raise money for scholarships and support PEO's Cotty College in Nevada, Missouri. This is the 21st year that our chapter has given scholarships to a total of 31 deserving young women at Hudson High. 
This year, we are giving two $500 scholarships. We are proud to announce the recipients this year are Bethany Scheib and Cora McCabe. Congratulations and best wishes as you continue your education. Good evening, my name is Deanna DeCubulus and I'm the president of the Junior Service League of Greater Newport Ritchie. We are an organization made up of a group of dynamic and diverse women who all share in the same mission to improve our community. We do this by volunteering thousands of hours and fundraising to support our local families and service organizations. Our primary goal is to be able to provide scholarships for West Pasco seniors. I have the honor and privilege this evening of presenting this scholarship to some very deserving seniors. And I hope that you will join me in honoring our scholarship recipient this year for the Junior Service League Scholarship. Congratulations and best wishes. Welcome to the second year of the Michelle Jordan Memorial Scholarship. Michelle Jordan was our mother and she passed away unexpectedly in 2008, my senior year of Hudson High School. She has showed the greatest examples of love and was our greatest supporter. She was very involved in our school community and was always trying to make a positive impact. She truly had a heart of gold. Our mother was always reaching out to help others, especially the young ones she came across through her job at an elementary school and through her involvement with us as we attended school and all graduated here from Hudson High. She took people under her wing and became a positive influence in their lives. The Michelle Jordan Memorial Scholarship is being given to honor her memory and how she was always wanting to give back to others. We were honored and thankful to receive the scholarship applications that we did. Each of our applicants were remarkable students who impressed our family and brought us much joy and hope for our future generations. Students who are willing to be the domino effect of positive change with no act too big or too small. Ones that won't let adversity keep them from their goals. Those who understand the value of their family and loved ones. Students who understand how their exemplary conduct does mean something. Ones who recognize that giving back is an important part of life and our responsibility and those who understand the value of working hard and caring for others. This year, we are offering a $1,000 scholarship as well as two additional scholarships in the amount of $500. We are honored to present the Michelle Jordan Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Patrick Sullivan. And we are honored to present a $500 scholarship each to Sarah Miltner and Cora McCabe. Congratulations. We wish all our applicants the best. Go Cobras. Congratulations, class of 2020. The John Coding Scholarship was established for students of Hudson High School. The grantor's intent was to give scholarship help to the two graduating seniors with the highest cumulative GPA. This year's recipients will each receive a $7,000 scholarship. Congratulations to Pamela Wakovich and Caitlin Stewart. Action. Hello, my name is Andrew Bloom and I'm president of the Heritage Pines Democratic Club here in Hudson. Heritage Pines is a community of nearly 2,000 homes located on County Line Road just east of Route 19. The Democratic Club has established a scholarship award of $1,000 to be given to a deserving senior to be used towards post-secondary education. This is the second consecutive year we have made this award and we hope to make this an annual award as we move forward. The winner is chosen based on competitive essay assignments and demonstrated community involvement. This year's topic was ask the students to identify what they thought to be the three biggest challenges this country faces and to explain how they might be solved. A committee of Democratic Club members read all the essays submitted and reviewed all the submitted documentation and recommendations. Although each and every one of the submissions was worthy and all applicants had many hours of community service, one essay stood out for the rest 
for its clear understanding of the topic and its coherent discussion. We are pleased to announce that Pamela Winkovich has won the second annual $1,000 scholarship award from the Heritage Pines Democratic Club. We congratulate all the graduating seniors. We thank all those who submitted applications. We thank Yvette Girardi for her dedication and assistance in this effort. And of course, first and foremost, we congratulate Pamela. Thank you very much. Now that was good, that's a wrap. Through the National Honor Society, I have had the privilege of working with some of the finest student leaders at our school. Looking back on this year, I would like to nominate two leaders who effortlessly dedicated themselves to the betterment of the National Honor Society at Hudson High School. Mari DiRienzo and Lauren Steele, thank you for all that you've done. Hello, I am Faith Naris, and I am the Troop Director of Troop 7707, Hudson High School's chapter of the International Thespian Society, which is an honor society for theater students. I am very proud to present this year's Outstanding Thespian Award to Austin Johnson. Austin has contributed so much to our troop this year and helped us grow. He is a natural leader and isn't afraid to think big and then work to achieve those goals. Our theater troupe is largely student-led. They make most of the decisions about the productions we do and how active our troupe will be. As co-president, Austin was one of the driving forces behind the murder mystery show we performed in the fall and the play that we are planning for the spring. He's an amazing actor with a broad range and great comedic timing. He received a superior for his acting duet at the District Thespian Festival. He would have went on to compete at the State Thespian Festival, been a lead in our spring play, and been a lead in the Prom Promise production this spring if this pandemic had not happened. It's sad that we've had to miss these things, but I know with his talent, drive, and potential that he will have so many amazing and wonderful opportunities and experiences waiting for him in his future. Austin, thank you for being such an outstanding thespian and all-around great kid. I'm going to miss you. Thank you for tuning in to Alpha Sigma Omega News on your side. I'm Mr. Vashon. And I'm Miss Wood. Together we are awesome. awesome. All right, today's story comes out of Hudson, Florida. Are you aware of Hudson, Florida, Miss Wood? Is it like Hudson, New York? No, nothing like it. Oh, however, we have breaking news. Authorities have discovered a cure. For coronavirus? No, Mr. Bashan. For being an outstanding contributor to society. What is this cure you speak of? Let's first talk about the symptoms. Unselfishness. Leadership. And going above and beyond. Hmm, sounds familiar. Do you know of anyone that possess such qualities? Just happens that I do. This person not only carries those mentioned characteristics, they are a senior at Hudson High School and an officer of Alpha Sigma Omega. Hmm, I think I know just who you're talking about. The award for the Alpha Sigma Omega Member of the Year goes to... Drumroll. Mari DiRienzo! All right, we are so happy for you, Mari, and thank you for representing Alpha Sigma Omega at such a high level. Congratulations, Mari! Well deserved, Mari. Have a good evening. Hello, everyone. I'm Ms. D, Chocolate Teacher here at Hudson High. It is a great pleasure and pride to recognize my wonderful student, Timur Seapo. In four short years, Timur exceeded and excelled in learning everything that could be learned, possibly learned in high school. As an educator, it fills my heart that one of my students came this far through his sheer will and passion to learn. Not surprising, Taymor's name literally means Byron. Taymor is so deserving to be recognized and I know he will continue to do incredible work in his life because he serves as an example for all of us, educators and students alike, to want to be better and do better. Taymor raised the bar for academic excellence, and we couldn't be prouder. Way to go, Taymor. Congratulations. And go Cobras. My name is Lorraine Dola, and I would like to present the English Student of the Year Award. 
This year's student was nominated by Ms. Hicks, and she wanted me to share these kind of words. For English, I would like to nominate Christine Gebhardt. I had Christine as a freshman, and I've seen her grow and mature both academically and socially. I currently have her in my AP Literature class, and she's an excellent student. She always completes her work on time and goes above and beyond expectations. Not only does she excel in the, in, in the literature content, but she is an excellent help to others in the class. For essays and peer review, she always gives great positive feedback and assists other students when possible. Hello, Cobras. I'm Mr. Vishan. And I'm Ms. Wood. I would like to talk about our next award. Given the context of historical events, such as the one we are currently living through... Yeah, I'd really like to stop living through it. It takes a unique situation for greatness to surface. It's tough moments that define great people. Terms like visionary. Risk taker. Courageous. Empathetic. Philanthropist. Thinking outside the box. And inspiration. Embody those great people throughout history. Now, social studies provides some of the tools students can use to break through and beyond the surface that uncover the past to enhance the future of this world. Our recipient of the Social Studies Annual Award has taken ownership of learning and made a path of their own, displaying many of the attributes mentioned above. It is my pleasure and Ms. Wood's pleasure to announce the winner of the 2020 Social Studies Annual Award. The award goes to... Nicole, Nicole Enox. Congratulations, Nicole. You're a model student for both Hudson High and the community. Well, well deserved. Good job, Nicole. When Ms. Espinosa and I were tasked with choosing the winners for this award, one student for French and one student for Spanish, we looked for students who exemplify not only dedication, hard work, and enthusiasm for the language, but also a love and curiosity for the culture. Um, about our winner for Spanish, Senora Espinosa said that she is a motivated, dedicated student who is to be admired, and she will succeed in the career that she decides to pursue in the future. También dijo, sigue ese camino que ya tienes planeado. Our winner for French, uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing for the past two years in my class, C'est un élève qui travaille extrêmement fort et qui s'intéresse à la langue française ainsi qu'à la culture du monde francophone. And I know that he has a, a great future ahead of him. For Spanish, we nominate Alejandra Vispal. And for French, we nominate Jose Perez. Felicitations. Felicidades. Hello, I am Faith Naris, art teacher at Hudson High School. It is my pleasure to present the award for Outstanding Artist to Leonard J. Israel. It has been a joy to watch Leonard grow as an artist from freshman year until now. He went from being a kid that just liked to doodle and hated using color to having his paintings chosen to be displayed in art museums and businesses. Leonard is blessed with a natural talent in art, but he's his own biggest critic and he is always striving to become better. In class, Leonard is a leader, and he's always willing to help out other students. He's always excited to try new styles, mediums, and he rises to any challenge given. His work was chosen out of hundreds of submissions from all over Florida in the Dali Museum Student Surrealist Art Contest, where it was on exhibit last summer. The First National Bank of Pasco County chose one of his paintings to hang in their lobby this year. Leonard has also been a critical part of our school's team for the Vans Custom Culture Competition. Through this pandemic, Leonard has kept producing beautiful works of art, he's been studying and practicing new techniques on his own, and he always puts in 100% effort into his projects. I'm sad that we've missed out on these last few months of opportunities to make art together in class and enter more competitions, but I am 100% confident that Leonard will continue creating and learning on his own. One day when he's famous, I hope he gives me a discount on one of his paintings. Leonard, I'm going to miss you so much. Hello everybody, 2020 in the house. Wait a minute, 2020 in your house? Ugh. This is not the way we plan for this evening to be. For four years, you guys have worked so hard and you deserve every honor and every opportunity that we can give you. And I am so disappointed for all of you that we aren't able to celebrate in the way that we're supposed to. This is what we have. Congratulations on all of the hard work that you put into to get the, to this night. And um, uh, to say that I'm proud of you is not even close to how I feel. Um, congratulations. I do have the honor this evening to present the uh, award for Turnaround Student of the Year for Hudson High School. And um, 
this young lady has been working really hard. She was diagnosed early in her eighth grade year with an illness that kept her from being able to come to school. And she has struggled with credit recovery and uh, great issues for four years in high school. Um, through being part of the SOS, which is Save Our Students uh, program this year, she was able to pass all of her senior classes and do her credit recovery and she was finished by February. After she was finished, she, was, she stood by her classmates and has been helping to us to push them and get them to the finish line as well. Neva Pilgrim, I am so proud of you and she is the turnaround student of the year. Congratulations to her and congratulations to all of you and I so look forward to when we can celebrate together. My name is Ms. Linton and I am the digital design teacher here at Hudson High. I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate all my students who passed their Adobe certifications, including Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. And I also wanted to take a moment to congratulate my senior student, Trevor Valdez, who is my first student of mine to pass all three Adobe certifications prior to graduating. That's an unbelievable thing to do, especially at your age. And again, I wanted to congratulate you and all the rest of my students for a job well done. I miss you guys and take care. The outstanding senior is nominated first by members of the senior class and then selected by the faculty and staff. This award exemplifies students who make a distinct impact on their school community. This makes this year's winner extraordinary since she transferred to Hudson and was only here for three years. In a short time, she sought to improve the culture at Hudson High by being a positive role model to her peers and a source of motivation to all. Congratulations to this year's outstanding senior, Faith Hicks. Good afternoon, seniors. This is Ms. Warwick. I hope you are doing well. Um, I am very proud to announce um, the top 20% of eligible students for Florida's Talent to 20 scholarship program, which guarantees admission to one of the 12 state universities. And you're also given priority for the awarding of funds from a Florida Student Assistance Grant. So in order to qualify for the Talent to 20 program, students must be enrolled in a Florida public high school and graduate with a standard diploma, be enrolled in the top 20% of the class after posting of seventh semester grades, take the ACT or SAT reasoning or redesigned SAT test, be eligible for college level work for the Board of Governors regulation in order to be considered a talented 20 student, and complete all 18 college preparatory credits as specified in the Board of Governors regulation. So without further ado, those students are Alexis Spitler, Kyle Belodu, Gunnar Brooks, Sarah Cook, Christian Diaz, Caitlin Dilly, Marissa Dirienzo, Happy English, Nicole Enox, Christian Escala, Christine Gebhardt, Aubrey Golden, Grace Greenwich, Thomas Hansen, Emily Harris, Amber Hatch, Katie Heinzelman, Faith Hicks, Leonard Israel, Austin Johnson, Austin Judd, Emily Larson, Dante Lewis, Brooke Liskey, Raquel Liverpool, Addie Mamalu, Elena Marcus, Cora McCabe, Sarah Miltner, Abigail Mitchelson, Leah Ovenshane, Stephen Ogle, Kylie Ohm, Nicholas Osmondson, Jose Perez, Gabriel Rovetta, Justin Shields, Bethany Scheip, Jasmine Sorrentino, Caitlin Stewart, Jasmine Vidia, Nai Veselov, Pamela Wakevich, Mackenzie White, and Joshua Wood. I'm so proud of all of you and congratulations on this award. We will end our evening by recognizing the top 10 students in the class of 2020. We would like to acknowledge all your hard work and perseverance. Undoubtedly, you will all go on to do amazing things and the staff of Hudson High School could not be more proud. Hudson High School's top 10 of 2020. Dakota Silikowski, Grace Grenowitz, 
Jasmine Badia, Aubrey Golden, Katie Heinzelman, Mackenzie White, Sarah Miltner, Brooke Liskey, Caitlin Stewart, and our 2020 class valedictorian is Pamela Wakevich. Good evening. I'd like to thank all the participants and their families for taking part in our Night of Excellence 2020. A special thank you to Ms. Girardi, our career specialist here at Hudson High School for all of her hard work in organizing this event. I'd also like to thank the parents and their families for supporting our recipients after 13 years of hard work in school. The results are amazing. We are so uh, proud of the accomplishments you have achieved uh, this year and we wish you good luck. Congratulations and please come back to visit us in the future.